The next part of fractions we're going to look at is reducing fractions to lowest terms. When dealing with fractions, we've now seen that fractions can be changed and that one half is the same as 3 over 6. But when we're answering questions, it's often, often considered that the lowest terms are more correct. So we need to understand how to reduce a fraction. Again, when reducing fractions, it's always easier to consider an improper fraction rather than a mixed number, so make that change first. To reduce fractions, we need to find a number that both the numerator and denominator can be divided by. There are sometimes multiple options, but we need to continue on and keep going and dividing until it can no longer be done. This will be easier to understand when we look at some examples. So, reduce the following fractions to lowest terms. 8 over 4. We can see that both of these numbers are divisible by 2. So if I divide the top and bottom by 2, I get 4 over 2. Now I can keep going with this. I can actually reduce this again by 2. I can divide the top and the bottom again by 2. I get 2 over 1. An alternate way of doing this would have just been dividing both the top and bottom by 4. And I still get 2 over 1. Looking at the next question, we have 9 and 15. We need to find numbers that both of these are divisible by. Sometimes it's helpful to have a multiplication chart handy if you're just getting used to this at the start. Both of these are divisible by 3, so we get 3 over 5. Looking at the next question, we have 18 and 24. Now you might say these are both divisible by 2, but there's a much bigger number that we can look at and makes it a little bit easier. If I divide both of these numbers by 6, I get 3 over 4. Now here we needed to change this to a mixed number first, so we get 10 over 4. 4 times 4 is 8, plus 2 is 10. Now both of these numbers are divisible by 2, so I get 5 over 2. Here we change it into an improper fraction. 10 times 2 is 20, plus 4 is 24. Divide both of those by 2, I get 12 over 5. Go ahead and try the questions associated with this note.